Since I've already reviewed the Lytra Torch and Lytra Pro on this channel, I thought I'd continue working in the same key and review Lytra's newest light, the Lytra Torch 2.0, this little guy right here. So without further ado, let's hop to it. So out of the box, straight out of the box, this is what you get. You get the light, obviously. This is the Lytra 2.0. It measures in at one and a half by one and a half inches. It's got the same heavy duty metal construction as the previous Lytra Torch. It's very durable. That being said, it's still a very light light. It weighs about three ounces or 90 grams. And so it's very portable. It literally fits in the palm of your hand. You can take it anywhere. So you get the light. You also get a GoPro mount. You get a hot shoe mount. You get a charger for the light. You get some soft diffusion that mounts on top of the light should you want to diffuse the light. You also get some sticky magnetic plates. These are basically just metal plates because the Lytra Torch has a version that has a magnetic back. So you can literally stick this anywhere and then your Lytra will affix to it. Last but not least, you get this belt clip. And in my previous review, I wasn't very sure about this. I didn't think I'd actually use this. But as it turns out, it's actually very handy. This belt clip affixes to the back of the light. It just kind of snaps right into place and it makes for a very secure mount, an additional accessory that you can use in a plethora of different ways. Obviously you can mount it on a belt clip and shine the light right from your hip if you want. In practice, I found that you can actually clip this onto a baseball cap and then you can have basically a headlamp and work hands-free you know, if you're out van camping or something and you want to cook and you want both your hands, that clip makes it very handy. And just for reference sake, let's bring in the first Lytra torch. And you can see that they're similar in shape and size. The only real difference is that the LED pattern on the front has been completely revamped, which we'll talk about here very shortly. So this package costs about 90 bucks for everything on this table. Believe it or not, that's actually inexpensive for what this little thing can do. The build quality, as I already mentioned, is very solid. It's got a metal construction. It feels like it's very well built. You know, you could drop this thing from pretty high up and if it, as long as it doesn't fall on the lens with the LED lights, you're gonna have no issues with this light. It's just very durable, which is great because you know for an action light, for an on-camera light that's gonna be out in the field, that's everything that you would want the light to do. You want it to be durable, you want it to be able to thrash around in your luggage, occasionally fall out of your car or out of your hands, and this light can definitely do that. Other features of the light include two quarter 20 screw mounts. These are your standard tripod mounts. I really like the fact that this light comes with two of them because having two holes is better than one. And no, I'm not trying to be dirty here. I'm just saying that, you know, when you have the ability to mount two things to the light, you obviously have more options and options are good. So that's that. Uh, like I already mentioned, the back of the light also has a magnetic back. This essentially means that you can stick this light onto anything that's metal, whether that be a sprinter van or a refrigerator or a table. You know, this sticks to metal. Now, if you want to fly drones with these lights, Lytra also has a version that doesn't have a magnetic background, um, which is good because drones get scrambled when you get magnets involved. So just kind of FYI, if you go and purchase some Lytra lights for flying drones, make sure you get the ones that don't have magnets in them. Additionally, this light is also waterproof, 20 meters or 60 feet. So you can literally go scuba diving with this light, which is double its predecessor. So the Lytra one was rated at 10 meters or 30 feet. Lytra Torch 2.0 is rated at 20 meters, 60 feet, so double. Okay, now let's talk about the light itself. The lens of the light now features 16 bright LED lights. You can see the array of the new light is quite different than the old light. Um, I believe they took these LEDs from the Lytra Pro. That's kind of what they look like. And I have a Lytra Pro right here that I can show you. So they took these same LED lights from their professional level light and put it in their consumer level light, which is beautiful because this is essentially 
the Lytra Pro's baby brother. So these 16 LED bulbs, they create a really nice bright light that's flicker free and it's also free of hotspots. So if you turn this on, oh man, that's super blinding straight in the face. You get a really nice light, especially with the diffusion on, that you can shine on subjects, on objects, on places, and you just get like a really nice even light. And there's three settings as well as a fourth strobe. So again, these LEDs cast a very bright, very wide angle beam. The beam is roughly 70 degrees. So this is very helpful because when you're filming people, places, and things in dark environments, you want as much light as possible. So for example, if I were to walk into a dark garage with this thing, the beam that it cast would more or less light up the entire garage, which is fantastic. It's a great feature. The new torch has a daylight temperature of 5,700 K. Uh, 5,700 Kelvin, and this just means that it's daylight balanced. So this light is gonna resemble outdoor light more than indoor light. It also has a CRI of 90 plus, and CRI stands for Color Rendering Index. This is an index scale from zero to 100%, which indicates how color accurate a light source is. The higher the CRI rating, the more color accurate the light. For example, if you shine a crappy light onto an object, the light will most likely affect or change that object's color. This is not good. When you film people, places, and things, you want your colors to be represented as correctly as possible. This is especially true when you film people, because if you're filming somebody and your light turns your subject's skin orange, your viewers just might think that you're filming carrots instead of people. Light sources with a CRI of 85 or 90 are considered good at color rendering. The Lytra Torch 2.0 has a CRI of 90 plus, which is really, really good. So this light is incredibly color accurate. It's gonna make blue objects be blue, red objects be red, and so on and so forth. In terms of brightness, in terms of lumens, the Lytra Torch 2.0 on low shines at about 100. On medium, it does 450. On high, it does 800. And then when it strobes, I believe that's somewhere around 2200. So it's very bright. As with the previous two lights, I conducted my own light test because I didn't wanna take what Lytra said at face value. I wanted to be my own judge. So on high, this light lasts for about 45 minutes. On medium, it lasts for an hour and 20 minutes, give or take a few minutes. And then on low, it lasts for almost five hours at four hours and 45 minutes. For something that is this small, that's incredible. Because here at low, you can see it's producing quite a bit of light. And that gives you nearly five hours of, of light that you can work with. Another thing that's really cool about these lights is you can literally plug an external battery into these things and then you can have oodles of time to work with. In summary, I think that the Lytra Torch 2.0 is a fantastic light and I'm extremely satisfied and pleased with its quality. I have no trouble recommending this to other people. I think Lytra took a very good product, which was their first light, and made an even better product out of it. Uh, recently they went down to NAB and I read that they won three different awards for the Lytra Torch 2.0 which is to say that people that are much smarter than, than I in the video realm and the light realm also think this light rocks. I think that's a very good sign. I think that every filmmaker slash photographer, whether they're amateur or professional, should have a few of these little guys in their go bag. This is literally the best little on-camera light on the market today. I think the only exception to that rule is Lytra's bigger light, the Lytra Pro. This one just has more options and has dimmable LEDs. But as far as small on-camera lights go, this is top dog. Furthermore, despite its tiny little size, the light output that it produces is absolutely incredible. This is a very powerful tool. And as a filmmaker or videographer or a photographer, there are gonna be situations, low light situations, when you're gonna want more light and this thing delivers. And I think it only makes sense to have a couple of them because, you know, like they say in Hollywood, if you have one, you have none. Two is better than one, especially when you're dealing with light. Um, I actually put together a completely brand new light kit for myself with five different Lytra lights. Over the last six months of tests and trials, I've become a total Lytra convert. And I've actually ditched my old bulky, clunky, big, hard to travel with light kit. And instead I replaced it with a five light Lytra light kit, which is tiny, and it's completely made traveling easier. It's made filmmaking on the road easier. 
And if you're interested to see what that light kit looks like, I've actually made a video about it on my channel, and I'll link to that video in the description below. Finally, if you want to check out the other reviews that I did for Lytra lights, those are on my channels as well. I have the Lytra One review, the Lytra Pro, I'll link to those below. And last but not least, if you'd like to purchase some of these lights, I'll put a link in the description as well, along with a little coupon code to help you save a little bit of hard earned cash. So that's it, that's all. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this review to be helpful.